I'm at Viva Tech to check out an exhibitor that's really making kind of a surprising splash at the conference this year, Airbus, and checking out a few of their projects that envision the future of civilian aviation. The first is an all-electric truck with a simulated cockpit that is just absolutely crammed with all kinds of tech and AI. The second is a flight simulator that envisions the flight taxi of the future. And the third and the last one is a metaverse experience that envisions the flight cabin of the future. Interesting stuff. Let's head inside and see what it looks like. I love this company. They've absolutely just rolled out the red carpet for me, walked me through, sent their publicist out. Apparently it's the most connected vehicle in the world. Really pumped to get in there and uh, yeah, check out what's under the hood. All right. Wow, how, how wild is this ride about to be? The way that the company reps described it to me was they've crammed all kinds of new technology inside of this vehicle here which is essentially a replica of a real aircraft cockpit. We stop before the stop bar, okay? Okay. Uh, a classic development is more five years, 10 years. So for startups, having tools like, like this is, is quite good. You know, when a pilot is really intensely focusing on what's in front of them, you know, essentially keeping things in line, there's all this other contextual information that could potentially distract them. And if you're able to craft a smart system to do what they call smart assist, they say this is not full self-driving. It does make things safer and more efficient. Okay. Look, ma, no hands. In an industry like the airline business that is so encumbered by regulation, by so much bureaucracy, for a company like this to be able to embed its new technology into a vehicle instead of an aircraft and test that stuff out fast and quickly and then translate the data, with that in mind, I think what they're doing is actually pretty innovative. And it was pretty cool to sit in that seat and act like a pilot for a few minutes. On to the next one, back inside. Oh, oh, absolutely. Let's just do this with the screen. Don't, come here, come here. Press the trigger? No, the red button. Starting the flight. Right, okay, so press once. Red, red button, button here? Right, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you start the flight, you are taking off. Okay. Okay, we have a lift off. <laughs> We're lifting okay. off. Okay. Okay, now do I lift off? Do I pull back? Okay. Okay, and by pulling the joystick, you will slow down the aircraft. So if you want to over, over a point, you can still do that. With, oh. Yeah. Oh, so I get it. Left and right your head. And if you use the hat button, the little hat. Up here? Middle, yes. If you push left and right, you can change your point of view. Oh. So just sat down in a simulator for Airbus's new vision for a fully electric four-seater drone vehicle for passengers in big cities. Point to point, almost like an Uber, fully autonomous. You know, they give you the experience, the helmet with the visor, they put your hand on the joystick, but at the end of the day, really all you're doing is switching between camera views. But you know, cool, look, it's a company that obviously prioritizes the future, has all these big dreams for future products that allow full autonomy, that utilize AI, and it's uh, cool to see what the future of the airline industry might look like sometime soon. Okay. okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm in Airbus's Metaverse experience, which is their uh, attempt to visualize what the future of travel through Airbus might look like. They have you living as the character Leah, who's traveling from Toulouse, France, to New York City for the marathon. And uh, yeah, it's visualizing what a bunch of cool futuristic experiences might look like on Airbus. I can now take control. Yeah, Choose your view mode. Oh, that's cool. I'll do that a few times, huh? I want to do that. <laughs> What's that line from that pirate movie? Uh, that's the meme online? I can't remember. I am the captain now. <laughs>